Okay, guys, finally, uh, after a lot of careful deliberation, basically I just have not been able to make up my mind at all about the color scheme on this kit. I have a kind of general idea in my head, but I uh, really just haven't really been able to nail down the colors, and finally I think I've got it basically figured out. Um, I'm not sure about a couple of these uh, colors, so we're gonna basically just gonna have to see how it goes. Um, so uh, I've got them uh, kind of separated by color here, all the parts. So starting off with like the darkest colors, as you can see, this is basically going from dark to light. So you can see it's going to be a mostly pretty light colored kit. But uh, here with the dark colors, we're going to go with uh, Mr. Color Spray. This is navy blue. This is number 14, navy blue. That's going to basically be the, uh, the bottoms of the feet the uh, stomach section and like the cockpit hatch there and these parts on the front part of the legs basically kind of like the shins and then a piece there on the crotch then this is the one that I'm really kind of the most nervous about but we're just gonna have to give it a go and see how it works out this is another Mr. Color Spray and this is Mahogany number 42 Mahogany and I tested it here uh, just to see how it's going to look and it's pretty brown so I don't know I've never really used brown on a kit before um, this is a pretty dark brown um, kind of pretty chocolate brown kind of this is just one coat though so I think with a second coat it's gonna um, make it look a little less chocolatey and a little bit closer to this color here plus top coat it should hopefully gray the brown a little bit I want a little bit kind of brownish uh, like a grayish brown not so like chocolatey brown so hopefully that turns out anyway the parts that are going to be in that color are basically going to be like the frame parts so that's another thing why I'm a little bit um, nervous about doing that because lately I've been wanting to try um, painting a kit where the frame is something other than like um, gray or black or gunmetal so we're gonna give it a shot basically it's gonna be like uh, just these ankle parts the tops of the uh, these parts at the top of the thigh, parts on the back of the um, binders. And by the way, uh, for the missiles here, we're going to use this one. This is a Tamiya Color. It's a Tamiya Color number 33, TS33 Dull Red. I really like this red color. I used it uh, a little bit on my custom. Uh, anyway, so we're going to use that for the missiles, just a, a dull red. The uh, frame parts for all of the arm. I guess I should take the thruster off there because it's not going to be for the thrusters. There we going over here. And then like for the waist part and the back of the shield, the hands. So yeah, the hands are going to be in brown and then for the knife, which I didn't show in the other tutorials, but I did sharpen up that knife a bit. I'm not sure how well you can see it, but I just basically used the flat file and just kind of made that uh, much sharper so that really made that look a lot better uh, so that's basically basically it for the colors the rest of these parts are all going to be just different shades of gray um, in dark gray we've got all the thrust all the thrusters um, the backs uh, the covers for the hands uh, this thruster on the crotch um, this other uh, the, like the main crotch piece those are going to have to be two different color grays these parts, which uh, when I primed them, I said I wanted to just keep them together, but I actually decided I'm going to paint these a different color. These are on the side skirts, so I want this part coming down to be in a dark gray, and then the top part in a light gray, so those are separated. The um, front part of the shield is going to be dark, and then of course the rifle. And then, oh sorry, that's uh, I've got Mr. Color German Gray. Uh, the Mr. Color German Grey, and here is the uh, Tamiya German Grey. As you can see by the caps, they are slightly different, and when they're actually sprayed, they are quite different. This German Grey, the Tamiya, or sorry, the Mr. Color German Grey, is pretty dark, and the uh, Tamiya German Grey is pretty light, so we're going to use that Tamiya Grey for some of the lighter colors, uh, Mr. Color German Grey for some of the light, some of the darker colors. Then I've got two other shades of gray here as well. This one is uh, just Mr. Color 31. This is dark gray. And uh, this is Mr. Color 117 
uh, light blue so I actually I need to test this first to see how blue it is it doesn't look that blue here on the cap it looks mostly gray a little bit of blue tint in there is gonna be okay because I think that'll probably look pretty good especially with the navy blue uh, but uh, I'm gonna have to test that just to be sure so yeah pretty gray and then uh, another thing I think I'm going to use um, this purple for the uh, power cables. I wanted to have the power cables um, in some color that was gonna kind of pop a little bit. So we're gonna try purple and now that I'm looking at this I'm realizing uh, one of them is here still on this arm. Anyway, uh, yeah I think we're gonna try that. We're gonna try some purple on there. Uh, one thing I haven't told you guys yet uh, as part of this series is that I'm actually once I'm finished with this kit I'm going to be giving it to my uh, Japanese friend. He's my really good friend in Japan and he's also the person who hooks me up when I want P Bandai stuff so he really helps me out a lot so I'm going to be giving him this kit. I thought about uh, giving away this kit as uh, part of a contest because as you guys know I recently passed 3,000 subs and I thought about um, giving this kit away as part of that, but I think we're going to do something else for that. At this point of recording this video, I haven't, uh, still haven't decided what that contest is going to be, but anyway, so uh, let's get to painting. I'm going to go start painting some of this stuff. I'll show you guys a little bit. Basically, if you saw the previous video, which covered priming, uh, it's basically exactly the same. Whatever we did for priming, you're just basically doing the exact same thing for painting. Uh, except that painting we're gonna basically want to do two coats. Uh, you can do two coats with primer as well uh, depending on uh, I guess how well you covered it. Some parts I did have to go back and do a second coat on as well just to get everything coated pretty well. But yeah anyway uh, most of the same rules apply for painting so if you want to go back and you want like uh, more information I think I explained it a lot more in the primer in the priming video, but uh, I will, when we go outside to start spraying some of this paint, I will uh, just repeat some of the basic things I said about painting. Basically, you want to keep it a good distance away, uh, about 20 centimeters I think is probably pretty good. That's uh, something like this. Uh, it could be even a little bit more, 20 to, 20 to 30 centimeters, uh, I guess depending on that. Uh, in inches that would be I guess something like 8 to 10 and even a foot away. It's a pretty far, maybe 8 to 10 inches. And uh, just go lightly in bursts. You know, don't hold it on spraying there for too long. Uh, move the part around a lot. Um, if you don't get an even coat on your first try that's fine because then you're, you're going to be going back and going over the part again with the second coat anyway. So. Uh, don't worry if the coat is not even, just uh, what you do need to worry about is if the paint uh, pools, that is if the you get too much paint on there and it uh, starts to drip or starts to pool in the corner of the parts or something, it's going to not look good and you're going to have to sand the part and start over again, so you don't want to do that. Anyway, let's, let's go start painting. I'm really excited to see how some of these colors uh, work out. I'm a little bit nervous, but uh, let's, let's give it a go. Alright, so we're back outside and basically the same rules are going to apply that we use for primer. And that's basically, uh, as like I just finished saying, you want to keep the um, paint from pooling too much so you don't want to spray it too much. Uh, you want to keep it pretty light and you're going to want to do more than one coat anyway. So just make sure um, you're just getting a good amount of paint on there, but uh, definitely not too much. The other thing, once again, you have to keep in mind is just the weather. Right now it's a little bit cool, but it's not too cold. Um, when it is too cold though, you want to uh, hold off and wait till it's a little bit warmer because uh, that really cold temperature can affect the paint. And also the other thing that can really affect the paint is the humidity. Um, like I said before, when it comes to primer paint or uh, top coat, basically anything that you're spraying um, like that is going to be uh, affected by the paint, so, or uh, sorry, affected by the humidity. So just be really cautious about that. And once again, guys, wear uh, some kind of mask. I've got my mask on today, uh, so I hope you're able to hear me okay. I'm also coming down with a cold a little bit already, so I uh, don't want to really...
be breathing a lot of paint fumes. Uh, so anyway, it's got a couple of parts here that we're going to look at first. Um, uh, this is the dark gray uh, that I'm going to be using for just some of the armor pieces. Uh, for example, this part here, which is the part on the chest. So uh, I already shook this up a bit inside, but I'm going to shake it up a little bit more here. Just to be sure that uh, we're going to get a good spray from that. And once again, luckily it's not too windy today, so I can hold it a good um, 10 inches or so, about 25 centimeters, something like that, 20, 25 centimeters away. It should be pretty good. I want to move away from these other parts so they're not catching any unnecessary spray. And I can see I've got it pretty good on all angles. Uh, it is going to need a second coat, but that's good enough for now. Uh, that's the only part I have at the moment for that color. We'll switch to um, number 117. This is that um, light blue. It is uh, definitely a light blue, uh, just as much as it is a gray color. You can see, even though the underside of this is going to be covered by the armor piece inside, uh, I'm spraying the underside a little, of it a little bit because there is the edge around there. And um, plenty of times when I first started doing this, I'd just like spray the top and then put it together and realize uh, I missed like that inside edge. So just make sure to remember uh, every part that is going to actually be showing, you need to make sure it's covered. So uh, this part I think is good enough for now. We'll leave that uh, to just hang out until a second coat. That's pretty good. And yes, uh, if you guys were wondering, the parts are just sitting here on the edge. If anything were to take a fall, it's going down 13 floors and down to the bottom. I'm not sure if it would make it. But this plastic pretty resilient, so it'd probably be okay. It would definitely have to do some sanding and repriming and repainting, I'm sure, though. And the last color I'm going to show you guys is going to be uh, number 14, which is navy blue. This is what I'm using for any really dark areas, like the backpack here. You can see the wind is blowing back towards my parts a little bit, so just to be safe, I'm going to move those a little bit farther away. And one last thing uh, for you guys to keep in mind now is that just to remember that all uh, kinds of paint are a little bit different, uh, even though these are all Mr. Color Spray, even uh, just different colors will spray a little bit differently. Like, for example, I know that this uh, navy is a little bit more liquidy, so it's, uh, it's easier to spray too much. So with that navy especially, I know I need to be a little bit careful. Uh, where the other ones are a little bit thick, uh, they're uh, I'm able to spray uh, more without worrying so much about uh, the paint pooling up or running, uh, dripping off this edge or of the part or something like that. So um, just remember, even if they're all in the same brand, uh, just different colors, the paint quality can be uh, a little bit different in terms of the paint's thickness. So just keep that in mind, guys. Uh, I'm going to continue painting, and then we'll come back and take a look at what all the parts look like once everything is all sprayed. So when all the painting is all done, you can see this is what we're left with. 
Uh, I've got all the parts painted and now I've got my enamels there ready to start the hand painting in the next video. But um, just to give you a look at how everything turned out, came out pretty well. Actually this uh, light grayish blue color is actually a little bit more blue than I was hoping for. Uh, I was hoping it for it to be pretty much just a light gray, but it's definitely a very light blue color, so that's okay. Well, I mean, we'll just work with it. As you can see, I did mask off this part, so the knee joint part will be in the mahogany color. It's not very pretty inside, but we'll clean that up when we go in to do the hand painting. But that's how I did that. Also did some masking on the torso piece. Uh, I had to mask around the uh, arm joints, shoulder joints, and the neck joints so that those parts could be in mahogany as well, while the main body is in that navy blue color. And then also just a little masking on these uh, the inside parts of the shoulder binders just to make the missiles there in that dull red color. And I think that's pretty much it for anything that needed to be masked. Uh, and this one piece here for the back skirt as well, just so that the middle part could be the darker gray and then the main color light blue gray for everything else. We'll have to hand paint on the inside and we'll get to that all that later in the next video. Here's the frame part of the arm just to see how that mahogany turned out. It's going to be interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a frame in this kind of dark brown color, so it's definitely going to look unique. I'm not sure how it's going to look when it's all put together, but the colors as they are now do look pretty interesting. Um, the For the most part, it's mostly just the light blue and then the navy and the mahogany. And then there's only a couple parts that are in different colors. I decided to go with just flat black for the thrusters. They're just in some flat black there. And on the inside, I'll paint the inside a different color. I'm not quite sure yet on that. Uh, maybe gray or a different color for the rifle that's just in the Tamiya German gray. So it's a, a little bit lighter German gray, pretty much um, very standard kind of medium gray color. And yeah, the faceplate is in the darker gray, so I think that'll look pretty good. That looks pretty nice. And yeah, the tubing or the power cable parts aren't painted at all. They're still just primed because we're just going to paint these entirely by hand. So that's those. And yeah, that's pretty much it. In the next video, we'll start the hand painting. And I'm very anxious as these parts have actually been painted for like a week and a half or so, but uh, maybe two weeks or more. I don't know. I've been in the process of moving. We're actually in the new room now, so uh, I'll mostly moved in and ready to do some hand painting on this. So thanks guys for watching and I'll see you in the next episode.